Okay, so I'm gonna be pretty honest right now. I've been sitting through these really boring online classes all morning. It is about 11.43 a.m. right now. I finished school for the day at 12.45. So I'm gonna keep pushing through and just finish up these classes, but I've just been sitting with like blanket, pajama, eating popcorn. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can take this situation that I'm in right now from being really bored and just having a really slow start to your day and completely shift gears and make it super productive. So let's go. Okay, so now we just finished school. It's about 12.46. We have our whole list here of things to do and just to get us going. So here's our things we have to do, but I always like to put a quote at the bottom and today's quote we put, our ideas are cheap, execution is everything by Casey Neistat. And that actually means that sort of, everyone comes up with ideas, but only certain people actually execute on them. And those are the people that get things done. So if I just had these ideas on things, but I wasn't gonna go do them, they're absolutely pointless. So we're gonna go, we're gonna execute on these things today and let's go get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna make sure you do is eat a proper lunch, just as it's really important to eat breakfast, it's important to eat lunch as well. And just make sure that we're on a full stomach so that we have lots of energy to keep pushing through the afternoon. So this is something that's really specific to me, but personally, whenever I'm like around the house or something, I like to have a water bottle on me, like a filled water bottle with ice. And I know I could just have a glass, but I don't know why, but there's something just about having a water bottle. You could just toss it around, do whatever. And it doesn't have to be a blue hydro flask. It can be even just a plastic water bottle, but just having a water bottle, you just take it everywhere with you. You're never thirsty because it's always good to stay hydrated, drink lots of water and just love having a water bottle with me. I don't know why. Also, if you stick around a bit later to the video, I'll show you guys how to make some stickers. Not actually like do a full tutorial, but I, and I printed one out. That's gonna go right here and it says get shit done. And I love it, it's just so me. It's gonna look great right here. We'll see how that turns out. The first thing we're gonna do is take a shower, but not just any shower. We're going to take a cold shower. And there's lots of studies and you can find tons of videos specifically about this, but I don't really know, I was about to say psychologic, but like the technical reason behind it of why it helps me feel so motivated and so ready to go. And also I would spend like 25 minutes in the shower, but now I spend like four minutes in the shower. So I'm like in and out like as fast as I need to be. And it just helps me be so much more efficient. And when I get it, I'm like, bam, you feel this sense of accomplishment and you're just like, let's go. So it's really hard at first, but it gets easier. So uh, wish me luck. One more thing, these aren't actually the curtains in my bathroom. My brother is using my room and my desk setup in my room for online school. So I am in the spare bathroom that was pretty, that had these old curtains from a while ago. <laughs> Monkey. Oh, it is so cold. Oh my God, it's cold. Fuck, ah. Dude, I better be recording this. That was so cold. Okay, so we made it and I am really cold, but you know what the good thing is? When you actually come out of the shower, you know how you're always like freezing because you were in the really hot shower? Now I'm not nearly as cold, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm ready. Now, for some reason, I feel super ready to go, so we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna go downstairs, get a little bit of work done, one of the tasks on the whiteboard done, and then I think we're gonna head to the gym after that. Okay, so now we're back in the office and we're going to start going through the tasks on the list really quickly. Well, however long they take, not really quickly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually work on a project that I have for school and then we'll... Go, go. So right now it's only about 3.18 p.m. but I'm really tired because I have been working on this one assignment. Thank you, it's my English teacher. But I've been working on this one assignment for like two hours now. It's a pretty big project, almost done. But we're gonna stop there for today and I think we're going to go hit the gym for now. So let's go. So if throughout your productive afternoon you just are tired or you feel like you're sort of just going downhill and you're getting distracted with the things you're doing, go to the gym go get your blood flowing or even if you don't have a gym or you don't want to go actually train just drop down do five push-ups because push-ups are the best exercise to get your blood flowing through your body really quickly so if you want to stay on track and you don't want to go to a full workout or you don't have time to do that or for any other reason drop down 
five, ten push-ups, whatever you can do, just get your blood flowing throughout your body, and trust me, you'll feel so much better, and your mind will be locked back on what you were trying to do. Shit. So, little update. Um, as you guys probably already saw, I finished in the gym, solid push. Like, I think it's best to like lock off the time. I'm gonna be in the gym from this time to this time. Not worry about anything else. Just worry about getting your work done while you're in there. Push your heart out, and then just like you know, grind while you're in there. Sort of like going on your phone, doing some things, taking double the length. You'll be, you'll feel so much better if you just go in, get it done, and move on. And then uh, you'll also saw we made these stickers. So. We have this clapboard thing, this record thing. This is a fever you can't sweat out. It's a uh, Panic at the Disco album. Cameron said you wanted to acknowledge my obsession to Panic at the Disco in a video, so comment down below if you're watching this and you saw that. Um, and this one, this is Get Shit Done. This one is actually gonna go right in the middle of my bright blue Hydro Flask water bottle. I can only be reminded to go and get shit done. So now we are in the studio. It is about 7.15 p.m. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit of work towards Koji Productions now. I'm gonna work on creating and actually doing some research towards brands I potentially wanna reach out to work with. So what I like to do is actually make a call out more personalized by going in and just checking out a little bit on the person who I'm sending it to, a little bit about the brand and how I can provide value to them. So if you're ever trying to do something or try, want to talk to someone about something, make sure you show them up front how you can provide value to them and how you can make whatever they're trying to do easier or more achievable. So I hope that by watching me turn around this day from like as the start, it was sort of like I was just chilling. I rolled out of bed in my pajamas. I didn't have that great of a start to the morning. But then I sort of went around, I turned around, I made sure I had all my goals and objectives for the day written down on my whiteboard. I went through and I crossed them down as we went and I sort of just turned this day into something super productive. Even though the morning, you know, we sort of got sidetracked. We were just like not in the best space mentally and we were just chilling around. So it's really, again, all goes back to how you approach it. Like you have to go take a shower, refresh yourself. Like taking a shower just cleanses yourself. You go, make sure you have all your things written down and then just go and cross those off one by one. And if you start drifting off track, just go back and start hitting your lists again as you would normally. We got um, a lot done. We're actually here learning how to DJ right now. So we're trying to learn some new skills today as well to wrap up the day because I always like to intake some knowledge towards the end of the day, whether that's doing a course in video, like working on towards a course in video, learning something new. Pretty much that is going to wrap up this video. So if you are interested in these kind of videos and learning how to be more productive, you can go ahead and click the end card that is right here, which is going to tell you a bunch of ways that you can be more productive as a teenager or a young adult. So thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.